Yo guys, what's up? I'm back with the team of the re yeah, team of the week review, and yeah, there's some pretty good people in as always. You can find it from here if you scroll down, which I'm gonna do now. The tweet the web app link because you can see here, but I've already got it open, so you'd have to wait for it to open. I'm gonna try and keep this quite short because I know some of them have a habit of dragging on. <laughs> I they end up as like 12 minute videos. I really want to keep it like six minutes, hopefully. So first up, I'm not going to run through all the stats, I'm just going to tell you about them basically. So Julio Cesar, he made quite a lot of saves, obviously QPR struggling relegation, it was fairly important for him to make said saves, so that's why he's got an inform. 8-6 diving, 8-6 reflex, 8-5 positioning. So first defender we have is Aurier, Aul I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right, Ivory Coast from Tulalu, or whatever they're called. In the French league, Toulouse or Toulouse, I don't know. I'm probably pronouncing that horribly from the Ivory Coast. 80 pace, silver right back with 77 defending, 73 heading. Can't complain about that. Second defender, oh, second right quick. Raphael from United. I'm going to hate this inform if I ever have to play it because his original cards, very, very bullshit. And yeah, I hate him. <laughs> 85 pace, 80 defending, I'm still going to give my opinion on him, it seems quite good, he will be good, he'll be bullshit for you by him. <laughs> Last defender in the starting 11 we've got Danilo Fernando Avela, that's probably horribly pronounced as well, but Silva left back from a Serie A team, Cagliari in the Serie A's Brazilian, 73 pace, and then actually he's pretty good all round apart from his shot. Seven is all round. So the first midfielder we've got James Milner from Man City he scored an absolutely amazing goal against Arsenal. I don't rate Milner much, but that goal was just amazing. <laughs> so I can't complain about that. Seventy five pace on mids, not all that good. I was hoping he'd stay centre mid. I know he was playing like right mid ish, but I was hoping he'd be a centre mid. <laughs> but oh well. So, second, third, mid, I don't know, not second, I was going to say second centre mid, but that one even a centre mid. It's actually, a, this is second midfielder, isn't it? Yeah, I've gone on. Right, so, okay, second midfielder, I was right. Matic, Nemanja Matic, sharing a first name with Vidic. <laughs> not to confuse people, though, from Serbia, same place. And from SL Benfica, 61 pace, doesn't really matter in CDM. 73 shots, 76 passing, 74 dribbling, 78 heading, 78 ah, 78 heading, 78 defended. Again, good stats all round. Seven is he actually looks pretty good. He'll probably discard prices. Well. He's very tall. So third midfielder this time, second centre mid. Right. So Inla, I think this is his second in form. So he's obviously doing something right. 72 pace, 81 shot, 85 passing, 81 dribbling, 82 defending, 75 heading. Very good stats for a centre mid. And his, I've used his other in form and it's pretty good. So I'm um, expecting big things off of this. So last midfielder in the starting 11. We got Labyad from Sporting CP. Don't quote me on this, but I think his normal cards are right wing. And he's got really good stats. For a centre attacking mid, I think he's a four star skiller as well. If it's him. Sorry about that. 85 pace, 76 shot, 71 passing, 82 dribbling. Looks pretty beastly. So we've got first attacker in the starting 11. Giladino from. Is that same team? No, Bologna. Right, 70 pace, 77 shot, 77 dribbling, and 84 heading. He is about 6 foot, I think. So he looks pretty good, actually. Ooh, big boy himself. Soldado, his normal card's pretty beastly. But look at those stats. 81 pace, 85 shot, 81 dribbling, 84 heading. You can't complain about that at all. He looks pretty beastly. I definitely want to try him out if he's cheap enough. So last player in the starting 11, we got Lukaku from West Brom, he's actually amazing. 
I read on that Twitter page that it's the first West Brom in form. And he looks amazing for a silver. He looks amazing in general, actually. 82 pace, 78 shot, 76 heading. If anyone used him last year, I think that's similar to his stats that he had on his normal card last year. So, yeah, he's probably going to be really, really good. I won't cover the subs much, just basic run over. So, yeah, we got Ryan, the goalkeeper from, I think, that Central Coast. Yeah, Central Coast in the A League, I thought it was. 72 diving, 77 reflexes, 74 kicking, 76 positioning, he looks really good. Jones from Doncaster, I think they're in League One. Yep, I'm glad I didn't mess that up. <laughs> Not the best pacey wise, but got good defending and heading stats. Very tall, very, very tall. <laughs> So, yep, yeah, he looks really good, actually. That's why he's not very fast, because he's really tall. So he's the only bronze as well in this team of the week. So moving on to the next, we've got Jimenez. I've forgotten what team that is. Cruz Azul in the league at Mexico. MX, but Mexican league. So, yeah, he looks pretty good as well. 75 pace, 78 shot, 78 passing, 77 dribbling. That means he's got four stats higher than his overall rating, which you don't actually get with a lot of people. So that's really good. Ebert as well, same situation. He's got like three stats over and one equal. But he... 77 pace, I won't say is all the best right mid, but it doesn't really matter, I guess. I don't know what team that is, actually. Real Valladolid. Valladolid. Not even sure. He didn't look the worst to players, so I'm not going to use him, but he didn't look... I never actually buy silver in forms, unless for like really good. So moving on to the... No, third to last player. <laughs> we got Kvitanic, I'm hoping I pronounced that right. That's OGC Nice in, in, the, yep, in the French League. Argentinian, 74 pace, 77 shot, 70 passing, 73 dribbling, 76 heading. I think he's about 5 foot 10, maybe. I'm not sure at all about that. But again, he looks pretty good. Second to last player, we've got Albert Mayong Z. <laughs> I think that's Portuguese team. Yep. Vitoria FC in the Portuguese league, plays for Cameroon. Not all that good pace wise, but has a good shot for a silver. Okay dribbling, okay heading. Again, he's quite tall, I think that's about six foot one. So moving on to the last player, we have Chris Wood from Leicester, obviously in the championship. I don't know if he's New Zealand or Australia. New Zealand. He has a good shot. <laughs> Sorry about that again. Right, he's not all the best pace-wise, but has a really good shot, pretty good head in, quite tall, and yeah, he looks a really good card. So this has been the Team of the Week review. If you've enjoyed, feel free to leave a like. If not, then it, I don't mind. <laughs> and subscribe if you haven't for like more Team of the Week reviews. I do all sorts. I play all sorts of different games as well on my channel. And yeah, if you're interested in that, then yeah, sub and it would be really appreciated. So thanks for watching, and I'll speak to you guys later. Bye.